All right, everyone, we start off today with the Flynn case, of course, because now the judge in the case, Emmett Sullivan, is, is considering the possibility of using perjury charges against Michael Flynn. Now, this is a, a clearly biased judge uh, who presumably is doing this for political reasons, at least in part. When you've got a situation where you've got an ongoing case, look, here's what happened. Michael Flynn gets threatened by the FBI. Essentially, they say, we're going to go after your family, too, and, and he's going broke. He decides, like many people in the United States do, that they're just going to plead guilty and take a plea deal so they can avoid excessive jail time, excessive fines or whatever, uh, and get on with their life. They cut their losses because they realize that you realize... Even for someone like Flynn, who's been at high levels, a reasonably wealthy individual, if the government really wants to fuck around and screw you in the ass, they have infinite resources and you don't. They have limitless resources to wage their case. They have better lawyers than you'll probably have, almost regardless of the circumstances. And they have all the time in the world. And one hand washes the other. Uh, these prosecutors, in many cases, they're going to be part of the same crowd as the judges and other people that are going to be involved with your case. It can become a problem. It's very funny because liberals point this out all the time. People on the left are like, well, the justice system isn't just. It's, it's corrupt. It's broken because people are presumed guilty and the state just abuses them till they settle. Uh, and, and, and you've got all these people in prison that are fundamentally innocent. Absolutely. By the way, you're not wrong. There are many cases, and, and, and if this was some case where a judge was acting overzealous and authoritarian towards some inner city black dude who was allegedly uh, dealing drugs, and it turns out the FBI was like lying to him, trying to entrap him, uh, wasn't investigated, was, was, was never supposed to be investigating him in the first place, because now the FBI is saying that initially what led to all this was incidental collection of Flynn's records. Uh, pertinent to, to other people that were having surveillance conducted on, that is that they didn't even have a warrant to be looking at what Flynn was doing when the investigation began. All these things happen. And the left and, and, and people with DAs after their names, if this were a different situation, if it weren't one of Trump's inner circle, they would be saying this is an abuse of power by this judge. The idea behind this is this. This judge now is trying to get a retired judge to, to refute the DOJ, number one. And number two, bring him up on perjury charges, potentially, or contempt charges, which I believe is lesser than perjury. Uh, here's why. The judge is, is making the irrational, outright bizarre claim that Michael Flynn, in, in, claiming, in, in pleading guilty, is technically guilty of perjury because now he's saying he's not guilty. So, in other words, if you, if you attempt to cut your losses and say, you know, I'm being harassed into the poorhouse and my family's in danger, I'm just going to cut a plea deal on one count of lying to the FBI instead of, what was it, six counts initially and a bunch of other shit. I'll, I'll, go, to my, I'll, I'll go to prison for a little while, but, you know, I'm not going to be in there for years and years. Uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's a, a better scenario pertinent to that part of the investigation. You're saying to me that if a person defends themselves and their family through that methodology, which is so common in the so-called justice system anyway, that you would then put them in prison thereafter if the charges were dropped? Because, again, in this case as well, the plaintiff is the U.S. government against Michael Flynn. The plaintiff is asking for the case to be dropped. I'm, I'm actually, I find it bizarre, actually, that in this particular case, the judge is taking the authority unto himself to essentially act as the plaintiff in that case. There, if, if, if the investigation by the FBI initially was improper, which is what the DOG is, the DOJ is now claiming, the, the Department of Justice is now claiming it was an overzealous, politicized pile of bullshit. Flynn never should have been questioned uh, during the period when he allegedly lied, and they can't even determine that he did that, they're saying that there was no case to be waged. Flynn never should have been in that court in the first place. So why then would the court act as an authority unto itself as though it were a plaintiff to say that he's guilty of perjury for defending himself? That makes absolutely no sense. I, I am convinced that they simply want to abuse this man continuously. That this judge, and at this point, the Supreme Court needs to step in and tell this judge to get the fuck out. Because this is clearly a hack job at this point. This is a meaningless maneuvering by the judge. Probably a political attempt to keep it going through the November election. 
They want this hanging over Trump's head. Right now, it's not going too well because Biden apparently was involved with the unmasking of some of this material. Obama's meeting with some of his other people just happens to coincide, and, and Obama, of course, didn't know any of this was going on, supposedly, with the exact start of the investigation. We know that now, supposedly, these these conversations of Flynn's initially that led to investigation were improperly collected without a warrant or even a FISA issuance, per, again pertinent only to other investigations, but no warrant thereafter was issued for the same material. He was entrapped. The DOJ can't even say for certain that he lied to the FBI because even the FBI is not 100% certain, and now you have this judge saying, no, you know what, I'm not going to let it go. Yeah, we've abused him for, what, a year and a half or something now. Uh, while we let him rot, but you know, I'm just going to keep doing it some more. Yeah, 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 fuck justice and all that shit. Yeah, oh, the plaintiff wants to drop the charges? No, you're not allowed to do that. What authority does this judge actually believe that he has to act as the plaintiff in a case that he himself is overseeing? Because that seems to be what he's insinuating. He's, he seems to be insinuating that the plaintiff's own statements about the irrelevance, the immaterial nature of the so-called lying to the FBI that Flynn conducted it is itself completely meaningless and the court wants to now punish him for perjury. It, it, it's asinine. It doesn't make any sense. Let the dude get back to his life. It makes absolutely no sense that Flynn would be harassed and abused in this way. Again, if this weren't political in nature, if this weren't, if this weren't someone from the Trump administration, most of those people, if they were aware of it, liberals and leftists, would say that the judge was in the wrong and the case should be over. They would say, well, the person was being mistreated by the government and trapped. Uh, uh, you don't even really have a central charge at this point on these counts because they're saying that they can't even determine he lied to the FBI in the first place. If you can't determine that there was any criminal wrongdoing pertinent to the investigation, why wage a case? That's what the DOJ is saying. Now this judge is saying, oh, no, fuck the DOJ. You know, the, yeah, the plaintiff doesn't care about continuing the charges, but you know I do. Why, Mr. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Uh, uh, Judge Emmett Sullivan? Who knows? I'm assuming it has something to do with his political beliefs. And by the way, judges are supposed to be unbiased. So are juries. So everything else in the design. Everyone's biased. It's a pile of bucket, uh, fucking bullshit that judges never allow their own political bias to taint their view of the Constitution uh, or of laws or of a legal case. Of course it does. Of course it does. And money changes hands sometimes, too. We get all the time we find out about corrupt judges that were taking bribes or blackmailing people for years on the bench. And then they have to go back and revisit thousands of cases sometimes. Uh, what was it? Uh, a couple of years ago, there was some judge in family courts that had, had, had led to thousands and thousands of convictions. And then they found out that the judge was like, what was it, sleeping with a prosecutor or something? And, uh, and then... All of those cases then got appealed, and you know most of them probably get overturned, including people that are guilty. I mean, guilty people end up getting out in such cases, and innocent people have suffered in such cases too. This is probably one of those cases. No, I don't think that Michael Flynn's a bad person. I, at this point, nobody should really give a fuck. Okay, he's from Trump's inner circle. Yeah, orange man bad, whatever. This is not Trump. This is Michael Flynn. These charges stem from things that happened years ago, and the DOJ wants to drop the case. An overzealous, authoritarian, piece-of-shit judge is trying to drag the case out longer. Judge, he feels the court's been disrespected by a person pleading guilty to a lesser charge as part of a plea deal. That makes no sense. I have never heard of a case before where a judge has done this, actually. It fucking happens all the time. Doesn't make any sense. That's about all. Peace out.